What's up beautiful people listening to Roma, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be checking this video from Greg from the Black Conservative Perspective and it's titled Planet Fitness panics over losing 400 million overnight after work trans bathroom policy backfires. Okay. Interesting. I'm excited to check this one out to hear what Greg have got to say. Let's check it out. Good day. I just wanted to say I just came out of Planet Fitness and um, there is a man shaving in a women's bathroom i realize he wants to be a woman he gets to be a woman i love him in christ he's a spiritual being having a human experience he doesn't like his gender so he wants to be a woman but i'm not comfortable with him shaving in my bathroom all right i just thought i'd say it out loud Good morning at eight degrees below zero in Fairbanks, Alaska. Day two of Planet Fitness Saga. I came in Monday, there's a man in the women's locker room shaving. A little girl sitting in the corner. She could have been 12 years old. I don't know how old she was. In a towel, kind of freaked out that there's a man shaving in her locker room. Well, I was offended. I took a picture of him and I asked him, why are you there? You're a man with a penis. Why are you in the women's locker room? And he justified by saying, I'm queer LGB. And I said, you shouldn't be in the women's locker room. Well, I left. And um, as I said this morning, I got canceled. Planet Fitness is defending the man in the women's locker room, the man with the penis, rather than the child sitting in the corner with a towel wrapped around her. So people, I just want you to know, this is weird, it's not good, uh, it, it's, it's rather disturbing. Value of Planet Fitness, plunging in the wake of revelations that biological men were being allowed into women's bathrooms at the gym. The $400 million valuation hit the result of the stock plummeting after a woman's membership in this in Alaska was canceled. She took pictures of a man in a woman's locker room. He was shaving his face. The issue first reported by the X account lives at TikTok. That account posted, whoa, Planet Fitness off 400 million, wiped off its value since we broke the story of them allowing men in female locker rooms and then banning the woman who exposed it. Turns out people don't want to support companies who cave to gender pseudoscience and allow men in women's private spaces. Hashtag boycott Planet Fitness. Do not let up, keep it going. The woman who took that photo said that also, by the way, a little girl was in the corner, maybe 12 years old in a towel and she was quote freaked out the policy at this gym guys that anybody can use the locker room you have to it just corresponds to your gender identity uh. all right guys so we got to talk about another classic classic get woke go broke story this time involving planet fitness and by the way i, I got to say something about planet fitness um, they have the most interesting business model that I've seen in a long, long, long time. It is truly a genius business model, right? That goes against conventional wisdom, which is basically to market themselves as a gym for people who actually really don't want to go to the gym, right? I mean, they essentially set up their gym so that nobody who is serious about going to the gym actually will go, okay? They get a lot of these people uh, who think they want to go to the gym, who think they want to get in shape, uh, and then they go, they pay $10 a month. Oh, no big deal. And then, you know, they end up going one or two times and then they never go again after that, right? And they make sure that people who seriously want to come to their gym don't come to their gym uh, because they don't have free weights. They don't have the equipment or the machines to actually facilitate serious gym goers. Uh, and that actually helps them save when it comes to expenses because they don't necessarily have to do as much maintenance. Uh, they don't have to replace weights that often, bars that often, uh, simply because they're, they're not actually really targeting themselves. They're not marketing them so, themselves towards serious gym goers or people who actually really want to get in shape, right? I mean, it really is a genius business model that has allowed them to become a multi-billion dollar brand that apparently plummeted $400 million overnight after a woke transgender bathroom policy backfired when they revoked the membership of an Alaskan woman who decided to capture a photo of what appears to be a biological male in the women's locker room shaving his face. And again, this went viral and they got a whole lot of backlash for it and their calls to boycott Planet Fitness and uh, they instantly kind of lost $400 million in market cap overnight 
over this controversy. Take a look. <laughs> Let's turn you now to this morning's business report. Former President Trump could see a big windfall from his social media platform. And the value of Planet Fitness plummets over a controversial policy. Channel 3's Jane King is live at the NASDAQ with those stories and much more. Good morning, Jane. Hi, Nicole and Caitlin. Good morning. Happy Friday. Well, former President Trump in line for a three and a half billion dollar windfall from his stake in Truth Social. Now, supporters who have driven up the share price are expected to vote today to take the company public. Truth Social could go public as soon as next week, but Trump would have to hold on to those shares for six months before he could sell them. Well, Planet Fitness's value plummeted $400 million after a transgender controversy. The company is finding itself in the middle of this storm after it revoked an Alaska woman's membership for snapping photos of a transgender woman who is biologically male shaving in the women's locker room. Now, the fitness chain says she was kicked out because she took photos in a locker room, which is against the policy. Planet Fitness's gender identity non-discrimination policy states that members and guests may use the facilities that best align with their sincere self-reported gender identity. Well, Connecticut ranked four. Yeah, so you see now you heard that, okay? This ain't <sighs> So it's safe to say that uh, with these or with, with whatever agenda they're pushing or they're putting forward, they are saying that women spaces are not safe anymore for women alone, for biological women alone and little girls girls your girl child is not safe alone in a locker room because to them because somebody can self-identify whatever gender they are they want to identify or the person is confused because it is not even about identifying it's about confusion because the person is confused the person don't want to be their biological gender anymore a biological male they can decide to go into the female locker room or women's bathroom because of course they are confused easy access for them to do have these people forgotten that perverse exist predators exist that can decide oh they they are another gender from their biological gender and go into female bathroom and do whatever they want to do because of course the policy like this exists because yes women are not safe anymore because we now see this on the rise why is this now on the rise why is this now popular we've got tons of biological men tons of them saying they self-identify as female or as woman so they can go into a female bathroom or woman's bathroom and women should accept this and once you speak up or you talk about it you lose your membership or you get fired this should be acceptable i mean we've got other people in the community in the trans community or in the lgbtq community that are putting uh, in the work but these don't make sense how about the safety of the little girl or the safety of our little children they might as well if they've decided that they want to be so inclusive they can have a shared bathroom for the trans community or the trans people that way it is safer but how can a biological male that is confused because this is all about confusion that is confused walk into a female bathroom and shave and say they are inclusive <sighs> i can't even believe a time will come when we have to be talking about this i guess some of us our parents if this existed in their time when 
we were still growing up or when we were little children i don't think our parents would have accepted this or our grandparents accepted this for the, to happen to our parents i don't think they would because this don't make sense never in history have we even heard that a man biological man can become a woman never not now not in the history never because this don't make sense if they want to be inclusive they can have a separate bathroom for these individuals who self-identify it is same it is simple for women's spaces women's bathroom do people even know what goes on behind the closed doors when no one is watching when no one is looking i don't think any father would allow their child girl child to be alone in the bathroom with a biological man who self-identifies as a woman because the facility wants to be inclusive protect our little children protect our little girls that is all we're asking protect our women protect our girl child that is all we're asking for i don't think anybody's asking for too much but yeah let's go on gender identity well connecticut ranked for yeah so you see now you heard that okay this is a national news story that clearly and obviously has resulted in some investor backlash against planet fitness and i mean it, it's clearly and obvious why that is happening mm -hmm. is because a policy like that will motivate people not to go to that gym okay they will be like hey you know what i'm going to cancel my membership because there are probably a lot of people out here who don't go to the gym right they don't go to planet fitness and then they remember all of a sudden oh uh i have a planet fitness membership let me go call and cancel it right <laughs> let me stop sending them ten dollars a month even though i wasn't actually really using the gym okay so i'm pretty sure that um investors probably saw that as a huge negative this type of backlash against planet fitness uh and that is why you saw all of this money be pulled out of the stock now planet wokeness i mean <laughs> planet fitness they're in full blow panic mode okay because um they are denying they're now denying the story and saying oh no 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 uh this didn't actually happen uh that story is made up we don't know what you're talking about when people call and say that hey i want to cancel my membership over this story take a look so uh i just left canceled my membership i went in and the lady who helped me out she was new she was in training she got to the point where she asked the reason why I was canceling it, and I informed her about the Alaska situation and the point of fitness non-discrimination policy and how they sided with the man in the bathroom and they canceled, revoked the ladies' membership in Alaska. And she was like, I never heard of that. And I, I can believe it because she's she's new to the plan of fitness. Uh but what got me was when it got to the point where she had to put in the reason for the cancellation, she asked the manager what she should put in there and she told him what I had said. He said, well, we can't put that. And they put a different reason in there to justify my cancellation. So not only is Planet Fitness siding with the trans non-discrimination thing but now they're covering it up instead of admitting what they did was wrong they hid the reason why i canceled my membership doesn't matter i'm no longer a member they're no longer going to get another penny of my money and i hope every one of you do the same thing we got to protect our women we got to stop letting the one percent take over take a stand it's time yeah, so you've seen that, you heard that, okay? Clearly, there's an obvious cover-up going on. And investigative journalist, uh, lived to TikTok, actually uh, called Planet Fitness to ask about their locker room policy. 
And what they discover is that, yes, in fact, uh, Planet Fitness is trying to cover up this news story and trying to pretend like they don't have this policy where they allow biological males in the women's restroom uh, or locker room. And um, yeah, they're in full blown panic mode. So without further ado, let's play this. Thank you for calling Planet Fitness member support. This is Juju, who I have the pleasure of speaking with. Hi, yeah, my name is Christian. Hi, Christian. How can I help you? Hi, yes. Um, I'm, I'm just calling in regards to just some, some recent news that was surrounding. There's, I guess there's some controversy online for Planet Fitness or something um, mm -hmm. regarding like locker room policy and whatnot. And, uh, you know, I have a daughter who's, you know, wants to sign up. And obviously as a parent, I'm not sure if you're a parent, but, you know, obviously I have concerns for her safety. Um, and, yeah. you know, I just wanted to... Call in. I have a few questions before I sign her up. Is that is that all right? Yeah, of course. And yeah, trust me, I understand. I got uh, two kids myself. And I tell our folks this. It is a judgment-free zone. And y'all know that way before signing up with Planet Fitness. And if you ever witness or experience discrimination from a member, you always need to report it to us or if something comes up to us because we've never had any situations where how I've seen this video went to, with viral on TikTok and what she said isn't what exactly happened. And people can take anything online and, and turn it. So we had to, of course, they did, they did a full investigation. And that's why I say based on our non-discrimination policy, mm -hmm. we don't discriminate against anybody, alien, monster, nobody. As long as they're not harming you or yours, we understand. Well, unless you're a woman, right? If you're a woman and you have an issue with, uh, you know, biological males being in the locker room, then they will discriminate against you, right? They will cancel your membership. This is what they will do. Because we don't go based off of race, nationality, origin, ancestry, color, creed, religion, sex, sexual orientations, gender, gender identification, age, disability, or any uh, bias protection by law. That's our policy. So, I mean, I, I understand if you need to take a, a look around and go maybe do a tour before you sign up. But, yeah, that's where our policy comes from with the locker room situation. You know, I saw the video in passing, and I'm just like, oh, yeah. oh my gosh, like, what is this? Um, <laughs> yeah, we all got, we had a big old meeting about that conversation, but yeah. Oh, wow. It was. Everyone, huh? Yeah, so, <laughs> yes, we had to, because, like, it was an investigation, because we want to know, too. Like, we're parents, True. so we want to know what exactly happened, so they broke it down, and we're like, it's just crazy how much uh, social media can really fool you, yeah. and I said, well, yeah, that's true. Well, what's the, so, that, yeah. Was that photograph of the person who identified as a woman? But was that a real photo of someone in a no. bathroom? No. No. That was not. That no. Was, so that that wasn't even a real photo from inside the mm. of Planet Fitness at all. Nope. Wow. Okay. We That's were shocked too. <laughs> and yeah, and they had to like pull apart the the picture, and it's not in the Planet Fitness restroom at all. We Yeah, so you seen that, you heard that, okay? Investigative journalism, right? Investigative journalism, live to TikTok, discovering that Planet Fitness is telling customers that, hey, that was fake, right? This whole controversy is fake. It's not real. Uh, we didn't do that, right? Um, because, again, the writing's on the wall. People are calling in, and they're canceling their gym memberships. Again, a lot of people probably don't go to the gym anyways, and they just forgot they had one. It was like, oh, let me call and cancel this, right? Which, again, is devastating to their business model, right? Absolutely devastating to this company, right? I mean, this is the first time I've seen that business model actually uh, backfire on them. Because before, like I tell you guys, it's genius, right? You actually appeal to people who don't go to the gym, right? And that way, you can take their money every month and never have to worry about them coming to the gym and costing you more money by using the equipment, right? That's why the gym membership is so cheap, right? Because they don't actually expect you to use the equipment in the gym. But that also makes it very easy to cancel when people have a motivation to cancel it, right? Again, that's the, um, you know, kind of the, the, the con of that type of business model. And um, hey, you know, it is what it is. Um, this uh, gym, uh, clearly and obviously, they decided they want to have this woke policy, a policy that in my opinion, I think is kind of nonsensical, right? And obviously you're gonna have people that are gonna have issues with that. And you know, hey, at the end of the day, this is the result, right? The result is that the market is spoken and the market is saying that, hey, you should probably 
uh, think about changing this policy. But hey, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace. Interesting. So what I heard here is that they held a meeting over a fake photo and a fake video that went viral online on social media because to them it was fake it wasn't their facility so the story is not real but why are they why is it when people go to cancel their membership there's a different story put in for the reason it's not adding up it's not making sense because of course they know and the policy indeed is beneficial to a certain group of people but not catering for a particular group of people but they say they are inclusive there is no discrimination so if there is no discrimination why are you catering more for a good uh, for a small group and leaving the others out because they are not important this is the reality of things and it's sad because i've never in history in my life imagined that these times would come that biological male would or biological men or some biological men would self-identify or would identify as a woman and have easy access to female bathroom if it were our parents times or our grandparents times <laughs> we wouldn't even be sitting to discuss this because this wouldn't have happened they wouldn't allow it but again, welcome to the wokeness and the woke society. But it's a good thing that lots of people are taking a stand towards this because lots of no, I don't think anybody will want to allow this, want to see it to allow this to happen. But let me know what you think about this. I'm sure tons of people have interesting things to share. I really love your honest contribution. You can share other useful information and think might be really helpful. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and all of that stuff. And until next time, see you in the next video.